Submit to God's sufficiency. God is sufficient. My God will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And the way He supplies your need, sometimes you do not know. As you do not know the path of the way, hindi mo alam ang kung saan ang gagaling ang, uh, ang hangin, kung saan sila dumadaan. Hindi mo rin alam kung paano na ang katawan ng isang tao ay natubuo sa sinabukunan ng kanyang ina. Hindi mo maintindihan ang gawain ng Diyos. Siya ang maker of all things. Now, how do I let you make, make you understand this passage? Now, it talks about the sovereignty of God. Now, here is a guy you and I do not know. In fact, I just knew, knew this guy yesterday. This guy is through with Kathy. Tinugol ko siya. Alam mo, nagulat ako sa tao nito sapagkat sinabi niya ito eh. I was not so committed to financial success that I was willing to abandon my principles and priorities. And one of the most visible examples of this is our decision to close our shop on Sunday. Kapatid, marami sa inyo nang dahil lang sa COVID-19 ay tumigil sa paglilipot sa Panginoon. Marami sa inyo tumigil sa pagbibigay ng ikapo nang dahil lang sa COVID-19. My friends, ang tao nito dapat sana, pwede ko na sabihin sa kanya um, basta mag-church ka lang uh, sa umaga, sa hapon gawin mo na, paano gusto mo gawin? Hindi! Sabi niya, I'm going to serve the Lord on a Sunday Sunday is non-negotiable for a believer Amen. Ang linggo ay hindi panahon ng paglalaba Ang linggo ay hindi panahon ng pagtulog Ang linggo ay hindi panahon ng hiking Ang panahon ng linggo ay panahon ng pagsamba at paglilingkod sa Diyos. Amen. Yeah. Nagtataka ka bakit hindi ka nagpa-prosper? Walang tunong eh. Walang wisdom. Kasi na nanggalit. Saan ang gagaling ng wisdom? Knowledge, pwede mong, uh, pwede mong uh, i-manufacture ng knowledge. Magbasa ka lang ng magbasa. Punong na ang ulo mo ng knowledge. Pero wisdom does not come from you. Wisdom comes from Amen. 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 Kayo nang tumigil ng pagbibigay ng ikaw po, pinuputol niyo ang insurance ninyo. Sa langit. Wow! Sa langit, ibig sabihin mo, tinitipid, tinitipid niyo ang Diyos eh. Magtipid na kayo sa lahat ng bagay, huwag niya tipid na rin ang Panginoon. Bata eh! Saan niya nagagawin niyo lang? Now, uh, my, this message this morning, today is either going to be a blessing or a curse to you. Lalo na kayo na palagi nakikinig pero hindi gumagawa. It is either going to be a blessing or a curse. Bakit niyo tinitibid ng Panginoon na kung saan lakas, talino, galing at biyaya ay nagtagalit sa Kanya? Hello? It is irrational it is counterintuitive. It is against nature. It is against your welfare. And it is against your future. You are not only borrowing your future, you are robbing God. The way you store up treasure in heaven is by investing in getting people there. We're talking about investing. Investment is not just about money. Investing is about people. Investing is about uh, spiritual, physical, and uh, uh, whether you like it or not, whatever you plan, whether physical, spiritual, mental, financial, relational, or emotional, it will grow and sometimes return to you in a multiplied fashion. It can be incredibly good or incredibly uh, terribly bad, depending on your seed. So be careful about planting the seed. Amen? Ah, magtanim ka, mag, ah, dapat magtanim ka kapatid sa Panginoon, sa finances mo, sa pamilya mo, sa sarili mo. Choose the right thing. Amen? Hi! 
thank you for watching the, the teaser. And if you are blessed, we would be happy if you are going to watch the full video on this side. And if you wish to visit our channel, please go to this side.